Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for inviting me to this year's International Forum on Imports. I'm happy to join you today via video from Geneva. If not for the travel restrictions, I would have been even happier to join you in person in Shanghai for this important event. Supporting trade promotion has always been an important focus in my work. I am deeply aware of how important trade is for growth and development, especially in these challenging times. As we know, global trade is facing unprecedented challenges. World GDP in 2020 is expected to decline by 4.8%. Global goods trade may drop by over 9% and services trade by 23%. Even before the pandemic, we were already grappling with forces that were fundamentally shifting the context in which we do business, such as evolutions in technology and climate change. The pandemic had a particularly high toll on MSMEs. ITC's survey of 6,000 small businesses found that over 50% of micro and small firms are at risk of permanent closure six months into the pandemic slowdown. Small firms also make up a larger proportion of companies in sectors that have been hardest hit, such as tourism, services, and manufacturing. In our efforts to recover and to build back better and bolder, trade must play a key role. Imports and exports are the same side of the coin. As we have seen in this pandemic, supply chain disruptions can damage not only companies in the exporting country, but also companies in the importing country that rely on imported materials, parts, and components as inputs. This is why keeping markets open is vital. This International Forum on Imports, therefore, provides a unique opportunity to discuss the importance of imports in global trade and economic recovery, to rethink and reset our strategies, and pivot to more resilient economic and business models. As we look towards the recovery we need to ensure unimpeded trade in essential supplies to combat the global pandemic, support an open, transparent, rules-based multilateral trade system, ensure that the benefits of trade flows to the MSMEs, to women, and to youth. The China International Import Expo, CIIE, focus on promoting imports into China rather than exports from China sends a clear signal that trade can work not only for China, but also for its trade partners. As a partner agency of CIIE since its first edition in 2018, ITC has supported the participation of 130 MSMEs from 22 developed and least developed com countries. Companies established more than 30 million worth of prospective deals for new exports to China, such as fruits from Senegal, coffee beans from Colombia, and ITC services from Bangladesh. CIIE provides an important gateway for ITC-supported MSMEs to the Chinese market and to develop new partnerships. We need not only more trade, but good trade. Trade that contributes to sustainability and inclusiveness, trade that contributes to the environment, and trade that contributes to the welfare of the poor and underprivileged must be the way forward. I wish you all a fruitful discussion and look forward to the great ideas coming from the forum and to seeing you in Shanghai next year. Thank you.